Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Outlaws of the Old West. On the Radio Man 03, it's awesome to have you along. Flint West with <laughs> Flint Westwood here at your service. Look at my mustache. What's going on? It's just the way the lighting is in the desert. It does that to you. It makes you look old. Really aged and wise. Uh, anyways, hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It's a Tuesday afternoon stream on Twitch TV at the Radio Man 03 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Arizona time, that is. Mm-hmm. Uh... We're not exactly picking up where we left off last time. If I go to the map, uh, you can see we were down in this area here, and I've been riding, kind of trying to get down into this area, and it's not possible. I do believe this is the edge. I want to say this is like the edge of the map right here. Uh, I've not been able to get down off of this ridge. It goes all the way. I've come along all the way through here and just kind of hug the ridge. I've had a bandit group come after me. I did TNT bandit, got rid of him. I also killed a uh, uh, a bank bandit. So I've had a little bit of things here and there happening to me. And I've been digging up all of the goodness because we need it. And I've got a lot of it in my inventory. I'll show you what I've got. Uh, we are going to melt it down, head back to the ranch, and, and do some more work on that barn. I just, I just feel like I need to build. I've been grinding so much between this and Atlas. It's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of grinding. So I want to go do some building a little bit. And if we still need a little more iron after that, we've got the mine back there that we could jump into with little Jimmy, and you know, uh, go ahead and probably get the iron that we need to finish out uh, the barn, as well as probably, I would think that would be just enough iron to probably do some nice fencing for. Uh, Thunder Alley and some cows. I bet it would be. One more. So, yeah, I've been at this for about an hour. Got home uh, actually around 2 o'clock today. I don't know what happened. Traffic was just, I guess, really good or something. I don't know. But I uh, got home and uh, sat down and started doing this. This is what we've got on us so far. I've been dropping stone, of course, because we've got a ton of it. But look at the sulfur. There's the salt. I've not been as focused on the salt as the sulfur. Salt always seems to be something I find plenty of. But the iron... We are doing pretty good there. We've almost got one more stack. Uh, we'll be working our way down. We're still, we're, I'm just, I'm just trying to kind of get a layout for how the desert goes. And I feel like we've almost seen it. There's a lot of this in here right now at this area of the desert. It's very, um, it's real sandy with these shallow little washes right here. The weather, water runs off the rocks and stuff. It's just kind of set up like that through here. It's not ugly by any means. It's it's really amazing back in here. I think this this chunk of the world is really well done. Uh, I really enjoyed the mountain part too when we went up there uh, last season. So I would like to go do that uh, as soon as possible as well. Hello, Gold Dragon. As always, welcome. Oh, yeah, some more juicy iron. But yeah, I would like to. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what today has in store. But by the next episode, I would like to be back at the ranch. Uh, just, um, getting the barn built. Because we're going to have an issue with the barn. I know it already. We've got the pans, uh, or the stalls on one side that go all the way down, which is going to help with the structural integrity, but the other side we don't. So I'm going to be curious to see, with the roof that we have to put on that thing, just how much, uh, structural support I'm going to have to have, and how I'm going to build it and make it look like it's part of the barn. Uh, I want to say this about the desert. So far, I'm not super impressed with the amount of iron I find down here. Uh, it's it's all of a sudden I've gotten lucky and I've run into a bunch of these little two bangers right here. But for the most part, it's been one node here and there. Cookie, hello, Cookie. How are you? But we're doing it. We're getting it. We won't spend much. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm encumbered again. Yeah, I can't carry much more. Uh, oop. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. It's going to be in the right inventory, that's all. Yeah, look at that. We're uh, doing pretty darn good here. 47. Oh, so we're starting on another stack of iron is what we're doing. Uh, let's, let's, well, we're going to ride a little bit faster today to get down and kind of through here a little bit. We'll be back in to enjoy this area again since we've got our little mining operation here. There's a pickery. There's a javelina. That's what we call them in Arizona. A javelina. They're blind as a bat, but if they get angry <laughs> and they know your direction, they will come after you. There's a little bit of iron off there in that distance there, but let's go up on this ridge here and see just what it is we see from here. I'm pretty sure we can't get down into that that really low valley here. 
there's a lot of this kind of rock along this edge and it just drops off into nothing you can see the river goes by down there and on the map we are close to the river right now so maybe there is some access to the river over here I'm not sure but I'm thinking that's gonna be the end of it uh, let's grab the sulfur let's do it we really should I found that if I hit him right here in the middle Sometimes I can get them both. Yeah, it didn't work that time. Anything to figure out how I can swing less is a good thing. Uh, so I believe this is all up on a ridge high up. Uh, these barrel cactus look really great. I like the barrel cactus on the ground. It's a nice little touch there. There's some more sulfur, but I'm really hoping to just find the iron. There's a cactus floating in the air. The closer you get to the edge of the map, the more weirdness you see off in the distance. Uh, here's some iron right over here. We'll just finish it. I want to see if I can get to the river. That's what I want to do the first thing in today's episode. Wouldn't mind filling my canteen up. It's a little low. And it's a, it's a little bit of a ride back. I'm not going to grab that salt. I'm going to really kind of just kind of focus right now on getting down there and kind of seeing the area a little bit. And uh, getting iron. Looks like there's some over here. I keep thinking that somebody left a comment in the last season that said that there was an area that was just like this alleyway of resources. It may have been just sulfur and... Um, salt that they were talking about and possibly coal too because I've seen several stretches now of land that have quite a bit of both those resources on them yeah, I'm encumbered see my even my weight is getting to the point where it's it's there I did this on purpose I know I can put stuff on uh, Bonita here and that's what I'm gonna do right now we're gonna put uh, that that what's that 96 let's put all of the salt on here and the sulfur. Put that meat, and we're gonna drop that. Sort items, auto stack, sort items. There we go, we'll put that on here too. And there we go, perfect. That's not a bad looking chunk of iron right there. It's not bad. That, 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 I think that shows a bit of persistence, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Who else we got over here, hold on. Kicking and Alex. Hello, Alex. I like your uh, I like your squid. I like the squid. There we go. Beautiful. We should be getting. I think I'm gonna have to cut down here. I believe I'm gonna be up too high here. Oh 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 oh. It's all right. Poses a danger. I gotta go that way. There we go. One shot. We'll make it quick. Quick and painless. Didn't even know it happened. Just, oh, all of a sudden. Gone. Give, give me that stick. Mmm, no. Wow. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Have we... We found a pass in a recent episode that went down all the way into a very deep canyon. You can see the sun is very odd at this time of day. It gets pretty uh, weird on the on the salt and stuff. So everybody doing great? My new guy is doing fantastic. Just doing fantastic. He's going to be fine. He's going to be just fine. I could not be happier with how fast he's picking everything up. Shows up on time. Does his job. You know, he's learning everything, so. But he's, he's, uh, he's getting it. He's getting it quick. Alright, it's getting dark. I feel like we've been here a long time doing this, and I want to get onto something different so it doesn't get stale. 
Uh, let's see right through here. Does this go down? I think this is it. Yeah, this is the one. This is the pass we found last time we were in here. And it does take you right down to the river. Uh, wow, it got dark. Sorry about that. I didn't think it was going to be dark. Oh, Bobcat. That's right. There was a Bobcat here too last time. Bobcat. Sorry, Bobcat. Uh, let's grab this right here. Can we get down in here? I believe we're really close to the river now. We'll hit the river and then go back up. Because if I'm not mistaken, once we hit the river, we've kind of seen what we saw even in last season. When we came down to get uh, little Jimmy. I believe is the case. Let's get the uh, torch out. I hope you guys can see the, the rock faces and stuff in their look. Yeah, this is the this is a really cool little area right down here. I like this. This definitely gives you a uh, Wild West feel right here. With these rocky cliffs and stuff. Uh... Yeah, me too. I was a little worried about that, but then again, it's work, you know, and I got my vacation time coming to me, so I didn't want to have to sit there, and uh, Cookie was saying it's, it's nice I don't have to worry about leaving work, uh, because there's going to be somebody competent there to handle it. And I don't think it would have bothered me if I had left. Maybe it would have, without somebody there that was going to take care of it. I got vacation coming to me. I'm taking it. No matter what. <laughs> We're going to Disneyland and uh, Universal, so it's been a long time since I've been to Universal Studios, but not so long since Disneyland. But still, it'll be fun. My daughter's going with, so there'll be three of us, which will be really great. And since I'm a Star Wars nerd, it's going to be great to see the Galaxy's Edge. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Hmm. Can we get down into the water yet? There's no water here. There's iron. Oh, so this does. Okay, so there's the river right ahead. It's dead ahead. You guys probably can't see it, but I can. So we're way up this way. I wonder if we go down to that river, if we would be able to... Uh, whoa. Uh, actually follow it a little bit we'll walk we'll walk down that way I know it's dark out but it won't be dark for long it'll brighten up and we've got the moon coming up too I believe I hope yeah pretty good sized moon it looks like and I'll keep the uh, the oil lamp lit for you so you can see us better It just the wind really started howling right here. There's a uh, storm above us. There's some silver, but I, I, I'm or some iron silver. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I said we were gonna do that this episode. Let's let's do it up. We'll get the barn put in. It's gonna be wonderful. We're gonna have what we need. Then I gotta get a bunch of trees, right? Chopping trees like crazy. Hello, Matsur Matsurom. Hello. Daytona Beach. Very nice. We're coming back that way next year. I'm not going to have the thousand iron I want to take back with me. It's just, it's, it's just not doable. I think it, it's doable, but you got to have some serious patience and persistence. And I just, after grinding for a while, I, oh, I have trouble up here. Can 
we approach on this side of the wagon, will they not see us? See something real quick. Oh, wait a minute. Did I did I tuck and roll? I can't tell. It looks like I am I'm if I'm in <laughs> that was weird. Okay, I do that. That's the tuck and roll, but in this <laughs> it looks like I do a little bunny hop. Oh, what's that? I heard something roar at me. Those fellas have any gold on them? Nah, I have no gold on them. They're poor bandits. They're no good at what they do. Bandits liquidated quickly, too. Nice coming up on the back of the cart like that. Although, oh, there you are. Oh, man, he was on that coal. I didn't see no bear. Did you guys see that bear? I didn't see the bear. Oh, water. Okay, he's going to come after us. Maybe not. Oh, he's hit the edge of a border. He can't go anywhere. Well, there he goes. Where are we? I feel like i got to get rid of him so I can go down that way. I want to see if I can take uh, Benita down that way. We might have to dispatch this bear here. There we go. Just avoid him. Hopefully. Okay. So the river is the key then to get back down in here, it looks like. There may be a pass up here to get down in here, I don't know. It's quite very, very, very possible, you know. It's very possible there's a, well, there's like a right, something right there. <clears throat> That's just it though. There's all kinds of really neat little canyons in here. What we got going on here? Hey, cat. Uh, the heat in this desert is... Oh, 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 where you are yet? Yes, Daytona. Yes. Yeah, I agree. It was uh, 100 when I left work today, but it was not that at home. It doesn't rarely get to even 90 at my house, so... it's always, I'm always glad I live here. Yeah, this is pretty... Uh, This is pretty amazing right through here. Let's uh, fill up our canteen. It looks to me like the map is definitely starting to run out, though. I hear a badger. Angry about something. So how far down this can we go? You guys see all right? I'm looking at the stream. It seems like it's okay. I know it's a little more dark on, on YouTube, but uh, it's nighttime, so we got what we got. It's almost morning, so another hour here, it should it should clear up. It'll get brighter. I promise. Unless that storm comes right over the top of us. I've got it. Uh... Ooh, look at all that iron. That's nice. That is nice. There we go. I think it's what is it? Is it is it ten thousand iron for a thousand iron bars? There's some interesting little formations down here, but we're definitely getting to what would be, I would say, the edge of this map, for sure. I just want to 
fill this one stack up. I know I keep saying that, but I do. We're almost there. We're gonna head back uh, to the mining operation here shortly. I just wanted to see where this river would take me. It's pretty awesome. ride the river for a little bit. When you get down here too, you can start to see some of the passes that go up. It looks like there might be one right there, possibly, that goes up onto the hill. No matter what, it's going to be uh, a bit of a trek getting out of here. I got a badger. Map. Okay, we're coming down on it here. It's kind of desolate down here, huh? I'm seeing iron. I got iron there. Sulfur. Iron. Sulfur. Coal. Salt. Sulfur. More sulfur there. More sulfur right there, too. There's actually quite a bit of stuff right down in here. I'm seeing right now. Where to keep going, though? There's some more iron. Whoa! Oh my gosh, we keep running into this guy. Everywhere. It's always at night, too. How are you? We need nothing from you unless you have five billion iron for free. I would love those. Or I could actually pay you for it. I do have $492 with me. He just popped out of nowhere. It's like the third time we bumped into him now. Oh, where are we? So you guys can see. Right on the edge of 1617, along the river, in the desert. I think that's the third place we've found him now, in a, in a different location. There's quite a bit of more iron down here. Where I was, it's not as good, but there's one here. I see one across the river there. I guess that's that's what really weighs on, on me, is, is this really worth coming down here for the sulfur and the coal it really or the sulfur coal and the salt it is worth coming down here but what about the the iron and does this river just end or does it pretend like it keeps on going here comes our sun it's a rabbit okay so we have Okay, so the, we've got a bend in the river right here. Oh, well, that's pretty awesome. There's a lot of resources off in that direction, too. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, so we got one more waterfall here, too. Oh, look at that. That's going over uh, stones. It's a bridge. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that is an invisible rock. <laughs> that is not healthy. Note to self, do not walk out on the invisible rock. Wow. That scared me. Yeah, that scared me a little bit. The river has an end, huh? Just, just dead ends? Into like a lake or something. Thank you, FPS Force. I am having a really good time playing Atlas for sure. I, I at the very beginning, it, it caught my eye one day. The, the the writing is so small, and I am known for not reading everything very well, obviously. Um, but <clears throat> at the beginning, it says, "Get ready for an adventure of a lifetime," and I feel like it is like that. It's like an adventure of a lifetime. It really is cool. I'm in like no hurry at all to, uh, I don't know, I just enjoy, whoa, mountain lion, he's after me now, oh. almost 
missed. Poor kitty. They hadn't dropped you in so late, I'd avoided you. But they dropped you in right on top of me. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. Kill or be killed. Oh my gosh. So we are almost at the end of this. This is the corner right down here. Is it worth going all the way down there? Or should I just head back? I feel like I'm seeing pretty much what's down there. I did not know we were going to get close to that, though. That is pretty awesome over there. There's a storm back at home. I'm not going to go all the way down. I feel like that that's good. The river just kind of ends. A lake. Oh, there is a lake down there? Really? A big lake? A small lake? A puddle? A sinkhole? Looks to me like I might have to cross here. We're going. We're going all the way. And we could say we've seen it. It's like that corner we found up in the mountain with all those animals and all those bandits and stuff in it. There was so many of everything back in there. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this down here. Dude, there's a lot of room down here. There's a lot of room down here. Oh, the water gets kind of weird. I did see that mountain lion on the other side of that rock there. There is a mountain lion over there. Hold on. Is it my copy here? Alright, she's she's good to get by here. The water gets a little weird on the shore here. A medium, small to medium sized lake. We're going to have to let her just kind of mosey along here a little bit. Yeah, I'm really, uh, back to Atlas, I'm really having a great time playing that. There's so much to uh, figure out. I do like the building mechanic, too. It's nice. It snaps together really well. It seems, to, it appears, to, it's not the same as Arcs, though. Uh, it, whatever they did to it, it's, it's better. Things seem to snap better. Wow, look at all the iron down here. Look, well... There's, there's three double nodes of it right there, so the doubles are good. But where we're at, I can find the triples and stuff, and that's really great. But there's some more right there, and there's another one. So there's, oh, there's a bunch of iron right here. Look at this. Okay, wait a second. Okay, I thought those were tops of irons, from, but they're not. They're on the other side of the hill. They're rocks. There is some iron down here. If you're willing to come down here and get it, it's here. There's some more. Oh, wow. There is. I wonder if this is what... That spot. Because it seems to be really plentiful here. There's coal, salt, some more iron. Hmm. What are we in on the map? 1720, huh? Okay, so we're almost at the end of this. Let's let's take a look. I'm not on the right hill. Did I go too far? Let's check the map. I did. What do we got over here? It is reloaded. What do you know? They're so hard to get a bead on. They're always moving, it seems like. 
rarely, rarely they stop. It seems like. Oh, that hit him. That was a direct hit. What's well, Bank Bandit get? He's usually got a little bit more money on him. Did I get that? There we go. It was not registering. Oh. This would be full of water. Full, full of water. Yeah, not impressive at the very end of the river. The area the river flows through, very impressive. I think it's very well done. It's very cool. Reminds me of Utah, uh, Marble Canyon, uh, north of me. Just these bizarre rock formations. Water looks really deep down here. That's the deepest I think I've ever seen it right there. Although I've never been in that uh, snow lake, the snowy lakes. Midnight storm, hello. We're just checking out, uh, I guess it's the Colorado River, right? That's what's ripping through here, right? If this is the Wild West, that would be the Colorado. I'm bypassing everything now. We're heading back. Gonna slow trot for a little bit. So I just watched Avengers Endgame. I think I have to watch it three or four more times to get everything out of it. <laughs> it's so much to take in. I've not seen it in the theaters. I don't go to theaters very often. It's just not very comfortable for me to be in a theater. We'll avoid that mountain line again. I agree, the lake is not as impressive as this, all of it. It's really, uh, it's really well done. Oh, you tried to climb the mesa. I saw uh, some switchbacks, what I thought were switchbacks, coming down off a cliff face. And I thought maybe I could jump from one to the other. I didn't try it because I, I just didn't want to die. It would be such a waste. We've got a bit of a trek to get back. I think when we get back, what I'll do is I'll throw everything in the furnaces, get it all cooked up and everything ground up. And then... Uh, go stand in a house somewhere. You have to set, you, you can't just leave your, your guy alone. You, there is no pause. But if I hit pause right now, what happens? Yeah, it just keeps going. So there is no pause button. You can't just take a break for a little while. You've got you've to gotta back out or take care of your guy or gal because they do uh, lose food and water just standing around. We're kind of cutting through a different area right here. This is pretty cool too. Yeah, I like the whole area. I think it's really neat. But I am eager to go back up on the mountain, uh, past Crater Lake, to see exactly um, what's up there. Just a little bit more. We had some really neat places, and I want to put that taxidermist up there. Build him a little house and some... Uh, just some stuff. Just for fun. I think. Yeah, I need to go all the way around this canyon right here. I don't know that there's a way through. We'll see. And then bam, right there. So we're at the... Does the that doesn't show up on the map, huh? We'll see if we can get through here. Whoa. We get down here, there's resources down here, so I'm assuming this is doable. We'll see if we can find a pass that goes up through here. 
I enjoy doing that. End game was re released. End game. Oh. Re released. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We don't have to talk about the movie at all. No, we don't. Actually, what I want to talk about, it, it bothered me because um, I saw it earlier today, and I think we talked about it before. Um, I was looking at uh, a review for Outlaws of the Old West just to, to see is it being favored, is it not. Right now, it's mixed. And the person that left the... Uh, it was a negative comment about the game. Basically saying, you know, never buy it. They had about 23 hours in on the game. And it was like the most viewed review of the game in terms of, I would say, probably in, in a negative viewpoint. And I just did not agree with the, far, the fact that the person was able to leave the review because they talked several times about how their computer may not have been able to handle the game as well as it should have. Um, the loading screen took a long time, like, I guess, five to seven minutes. For me to load this game, it takes me about 30 to 40 seconds, and the game loads. I don't have to wait all that time. So I, the review was was pretty scathing, and it's just nothing to do, and it's um, it's choppy, and it's junky, and this and that, and, you know, uh, I just I didn't agree with the review, and it's bothered me ever since I read it. I thought, you know what, people are looking at this, and... That's what they're basing their judgment on, whether or not they want to get a game. But you guys see me play it. I don't have many t problems with it. And it is, it's brand new. It's still being worked on. So I just don't feel like those reviews are sometimes very fair. I noticed, I, I did talk about this before because Atlas, um, I looked at them. I looked at this Atlas when I bought it because I'd seen it. And I thought, God, that looks like a lot of fun, you know? And uh, I go and look at the reviews too. But I tell you what, if somebody's got... And it has like 1,400 negative reviews and about 400 positive reviews. And the negative reviews are very old reviews, but they're still there. And the game has come along development much farther. Granted, it still has some problems in it that they're going to have to address. But uh, again, it's, it's being developed too. I don't know. I just... Somebody who's got 23 hours in a game... I've, I've, I don't know how many games I've played where I've played for four or five hours and I just knew in my heart that this game is not going to be for me. That I'm just not having fun and it's it's just not going to be right for me. But I don't go write a bad review. I kind of blame myself for like, well, you knew what it was. You've seen videos on it and you got it and now you're not liking it. So, you know, it's not the developer's fault. It's, it's pretty much my fault. So I don't know. I just don't agree with people who don't play a game for very long and then leave a review you got 100 hours, 200, 300 hours. I think that's a pretty fair review coming. Especially since you've watched numerous generations of the game go by that you can uh, base your comments on. But to say that your computer might not be able to handle the game very well and say you don't like it, it just doesn't seem fair to me. That's one of the reasons I don't buy certain games if my computer can't handle it. I'm not going to buy it because I'm not going to be able to play it and have fun uh, the way I want to have fun. So it's not worth buying. I think we'll be able to cut right through here. Look at this beautiful place, huh? Look at the way the stone changes color through here. It is really amazing. We've got these like limestone, sandstone cliffs right up here. And it's almost like some of them just, it just melted right down into here. It's vanilla ice cream and it melted. It looks like it melted right down that hill. Anyways, that's my little soapbox I got on it. <laughs> so some of you might agree, some of you might disagree. Yeah, mm -hmm. Gold Dragon said it took him his, his computer about five minutes to load the game. I've just never had it take very long. It's only crashed on me a couple of times, I think. Uh, I've had the where the E gets stuck, where I just can't move anymore. This is chuggy right here, but uh, I, th I think this might actually get all the way up. Let's see. This is pretty awesome. Look at this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no cat. No kitty. No. Flint Westwood, do you not have your gun loaded? I didn't have the gun loaded. <laughs> Idiot. Got us killed by a mountain lion. I do not like being eaten by animals. My last Atlas episode, I was eaten by a shark. It swam right up to me. 
looked me in the eye and said, you look delicious. What are you doing down here? Gulp. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's really funny. I have such a good time with this stuff. And then there were that, the review, I'm getting back on the soapbox. The review also talked about there's nothing to do. And it's like, you know, what about your imagination? Nobody told me I had to go out in the desert and build something out here. It's just, it, it's what I told myself to do to enjoy the game. Uh, I guess we're still going the right direction. Somebody doesn't have to tell me what to do in my game for me to have fun. Leave it up to me. And you know who actually, uh, what game got me thinking that way was the most, was Minecraft. It's like, I get to do whatever I want to do. Nobody's going to tell me I need to do anything or go anywhere. It's all about what I want to do. And I like that part of some of these games. Like this one, for instance, I feel is very much that way. And Atlas also. Atlas, I feel like I can do whatever I want, when I want, and no one's pressuring me. Watch it, Ram! Oh, 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 we, we've come up in an area. Donkey, distract that ram. Badger, you do the same. What do we got here? Can I get down through here? Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. This is cool. Racing through the desert, through these little canyons and stuff. Oh. There's a, there goes a bald eagle. Or a bat. One of the two. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. It sounded like an eagle. I would look over at the chat, guys, but I'm afraid I'm going to walk right off a cliff here. Let's check the map again. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We need to... Uh, well, maybe if we cut around this way. There. Wow, you know what? This is so weird. Did I just go down the wrong lane? Because look at the iron. I'm running past a bunch of iron right through here. Uh, give me one second, guys. Let me uh, check on the chat since we're talking about it. Feel free in the comments, too, uh, to, to leave comments. Atlas has tigers and scorpions. I know, right? I mean, did you know you were going to have tigers and scorpions FPS when you land on that island? Or were you like, oh, my God, I got tigers and I got scorpions on this island? You know? Middle engineers is, is the same way. Um, yeah, but I've heard that they stopped developing it. Uh, medieval engineers. Survival games are not for everyone, or it's on hold anyways. Survival games are not for everyone. Some people need to be pointed in a direction to enjoy games or have a end game goal. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Uh, that is true. There are people out there that just have got to have that. And I, I, What makes this so great is it's kind of open world. I can do whatever I want and take as much time as I want. That's, that's the, the big draw. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. Let's try this direction. <laughs> we'll get back. It won't take us long. We'll keep Bonita on the run. Oop. She's doing great. I think the animal's food and water refills every time I log out and log back in, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. She did not like that. <gasps> Ooh. Well, we're over there. We're right over this area here. You guys recognize the green right through here, right? Yeah, we're just right over there. Should we ride down this ridge right here? Oh, this is great. A little bit of a jump there. This would be the hump, right? All right, we're, uh... Oh, we're really close. Wow, we got back fast. I guess that's the thing, huh? When you're going out, you're getting off the horse and working and looking and all that good stuff. There it is, home sweet home. Well, it's not a home. We have a bed there, but it is no home. Come on, Bonita, get to the finish line. You can do it. Oh, beautiful. Nice work. 
Uh, probably should get this iron dropped off. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, there's that mule deer freaking out. Yeah, little Jimmy's water's a little low, but I'm, I'm willing to bet his food and water were full when we got here. You're, you're, no, go on, go that way. Go on. <laughs> that is an amazing model, is it not? Uh huh. You're stuck. I don't think you're gonna get loose. We'll see. We'll see if you get loose. Oh, I pulled a gun out. And really freaked out. Here you go. Run away. Run away. Come on. Can't get enough of me. Is it still stuck? Go on now. I think it's stuck. Let's see what happens. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at this. A bunch of stuff already. How many of these can we make? 319 with the iron we have on us. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's do 150. There we go. And let's go ahead and take. Did I not keep the coal on me? I thought for sure I did. We gotta fill these up with coal. Uh, we've got another 32 of those guys made. And 169. Ignite that. Alright, there we go. Let's drop that and that and that and the silver. Do we not... Oh, there's the gold. There's the gold. Bricks. That. Let's get a little further. She's trying to get off this this rock is what's screwing her up. This rock is just unusual and they do not do well with it. Uh open the inventory. Just wanna dump that garbage, you know. Oh, she's almost there. You gonna be free once you hit the ground? There you go. She did it. We're heroes. We saved the day. We didn't have to kill the deer. We just had to influence its movements. Alright, let's finish this off with that right there. Alright, lovely. Alright, so that means we can take the rest of this stuff and we can do... 467 of those bad boys. 275 uh, salt, 466, and then 107 on that. <laughs> uh, sweet mama. That's nice. I like that. Let's go on down here real quick. Let's throw this in here and throw this in here. And oh, it's 12 pieces of wood. Nobody cares. Uh, ignite. It's like nothing. And I need to eat some of this dried up meat. Take a drink of water. Pick up that filth in the yard. There we go. What else do we have to put away? We did really well out there. Inventory. Uh, okay, so I've got a little bit of wood here. Let's throw that in there, and we'll throw that in there, that in there. I just... Oh, I can't drop that, because I'm in somebody's inventory. I can drop that. There it goes. I guess we could sell these, huh? Two dollars? Maybe the tailor buys this sort of stuff? Two dollars, two dollars. That would be my guess, the tailor. I'll take that uh, meat and use that right there. Alright, so what we're going to take back with us is we're taking back all of the processed powders. We will take back the iron, of course. Of course, of course. The planks, we'll take those with us as well. And the gold and the silver we'll take back so we can sell that to see if we can't get ourselves... Uh, we're working our way back to, you know, $3,000 for the other mine. Okay, Midnight Storm is talking about um, Atlas, how he picked an area that doesn't have a lot of the resources he needs, so it forces him to go out. 
which I agree. I was a little surprised to see the lion on the island that I'm on, uh, because it does, uh, it just, you know, I was just surprised to see it. So that means lions do show up, so I could probably get one there. Oh gosh, is Benita going to be able to carry all this stuff? I should leave it in the chest. Um, we'll wind up taking it back in the next episode, or I'll be back uh, home by the next episode. This is going to take 33 minutes to cook down. 38 minutes. So yeah, it's going to take a while for this to cook down. This stuff right here is probably going to take a little while too. Yeah, 36 minutes. I should probably have a couple of these going, but whatever. We're going to just let it go. and uh, I'm going to take my character and stick him inside. What time do we have right now? 3.53. So I've got about 5 minutes left and then I'm going to be uh, done. I've only had about an hour today. But it's been a quality hour. We saw some stuff I've never seen before. That is really uh, amazing down there. Did I take that out? Take all. There we go. There we go. Alright, very cool. Um, that's interesting. The cart is floating. I guess I've seen them do that before. The point is I'm making is that the game's not finished yet. But, you know, they take off and, and leave us hanging, and then we've got a problem. But right now, uh, so far, so good. I'm going to keep playing it and have fun. I enjoy being uh, Flint Westwood in the Wild West. I just do. It's fun to be out here. I like the world. Uh, that's going to wrap it up, because, yeah, i just got to wait for all this stuff to process, you know? I'm not going to cut trees down here, because there's no point to it. There's just not enough. I'll wait until I get back to the, the ranch, and then we'll go off in the forest there. And I'll just level it, turn all that into planks, and while the planks are cooking up, we can build on the barn and uh, continue the barn and get it uh, get it built. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by the stream. I appreciate it very much. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.